Have you heard this new clip of Jay-Z explaining his hostility towards religion? No. Ruslan. My name is Ruslan and we have a free how to study the Bible course, more context and ultimately more application for life change. You can go to mastermydevo.com or hit the link in the description. And we have a free three day challenge for those who are thought leaders, experts, pastors, entrepreneurs looking to jump into the YouTube space. I'm doing three days of free coaching in a private Facebook group. There's gonna be homework, all kinds of good stuff like that. Make sure you hit the link in the description. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we have the man, the myth, the legend, my brother, Dayton. We talked about Mike Winger's video on Bethel, and I, I just did a video on it, but he mentioned the three different sources of prophecy, right? And there's true prophecy from God, there's false prophecy from the devil, and then there's also false prophecy from our flesh, yes. right? And I don't know if you've ever gotten it wrong, but there's definitely been times where I feel like God showed me something, told me something, right? And, uh, and, 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 and like, oh man, sometimes maybe even went the extra step, went up to a girl in church and was like, God told me you're my wife. <laughs> Bro, and yep. then before you know it, I look on Instagram, they got a new girlfriend yeah. and they left this yep. one yep. it just ain't work out and so the the notion of like something coming from your flesh mm -hmm. and even as a christian you can have something come from your flesh that you believe because again guys remember we're continuation it's like we believe in the power of the holy ghost we believe in the spirit movement we believe in prophetic words words of knowledge but we acknowledge that you can feel something in your in your spirit that you think is god but it's really your flesh right Facts. i would put a lot of the false trump prophecies in that category yes. i don't think they were the demon de Satan prophecies. I think they were people that genuinely, for whatever reason, they wanted Trump to win and they were prophesying from their flesh and they got it wrong. I will put a, the guy telling the girl that, you know, she, that's his wife, they, they, I think he got it wrong. So I think there's a lot of folks that get that wrong based on their flesh, but it's not the same as you're a false prophet of Satan and you deserve to be stoned like Old Testament, right? Exactly. And again, guys, go watch that other video. I, we refer Mike Winger references the verses specifically from Jeremiah and Ezekiel about people prophesying from their flesh. They're still false prophets. Like you're still false and you're still wrong, but there's a difference between there being too binary, everything's from God or from Satan, yeah. versus there being there's things from God, there's things from Satan, and I would say there's a lot of stuff happening right now of people in the flesh inside and outside of the church. Yeah, bro. I think we're seeing it all over, and so I, I don't mean to like take a, 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 a real, uh, uh, throw you a curveball. Have you heard this new clip of Jay-Z explaining his hostility towards religion? No. So there's a clip, and it's something that if you've followed Jay-Z long enough, you've known this about him, and it's a clip basically explaining, and he talks about it on 444. I touch on legacy and what happened to me as far as like my grandfather, you know, and what, what he was doing with his daughter, he was a pastor. And it's like, I gotta forget that as well. As hard as that is, like as hard as that is, it's like, man, like that's deep for me. But what happens is just to call it a transgenerational trauma, right? Like what happens is it informs who I am today because something about him wasn't right. So I was like, man, people in religion are hypocrites. Mm. So I sought out religion to say, okay, maybe I'm not a Christian. Let me see, maybe I'm, you know, God body, <laughs> right? Okay, maybe I'm a Buddhist, mm. okay? Maybe I'm Muslim. So I got a bit of and then realize, oh, I'm just a spiritual person. Because if you walk into any one of these places, you walk into a mosque, a church, a thing, it's an altar. Mm. That's constant. Is God is an altar. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, okay, I'd rather, I'm a more desperate line for me in my spirit, in my soul. Was I'm a spiritual person. I don't know everything that's out there, and I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? I know God exists, and I'm cool with that. But that, I was informed by that because of what yeah. the actions that happened with my grandfather. And, you know, so, and, and like going to therapy and like just allowed me to see that, allowed me to see that clearly and just really put things in place. Like, oh, I know why this triggers me in this thing. Because know why this, this triggers me. And oh, shit, that's why. I didn't just wake up one morning with an idea to, you know, study the Quran. You know what I'm saying? It came, where did it come from? Why? 
why is everyone in your family is Christian? Why aren't you Christian? It's mm. just natural. Like, if you were Democrat, why? Right. Because everybody you grew up with is Democrat. You don't ask the question. You know what I'm saying? But because there was some trauma there, it led me to ask the question. I went everywhere and asked the question. Why isn't that? Why, why isn't this guy living up to what he said and who he said he is? And then going somewhere else and being like, okay, why doesn't that? Why doesn't everything in that religion check out? Why doesn't everything in that religion check out? And for me, it was like, oh, okay, God exists. Interesting, right? Very interesting. So I, 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 I hear that on 444, he reveals that his grandfather, molest, who's a preacher, molested his aunt. Yeah. Right? His daughter. And, and so in that, we see that. And, and, and I've always wondered, like, why does Jay-Z have this hostility towards Christianity? Right? Why are there these little subtle, little Jesus yeah, knocks? Jesus and, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. Life starts when the church ends and all kind of stuff. And then you find out behind that is that that's somebody who experienced massive trauma, a scandal, yeah. you know, in his childhood, and it, and it probably ruptured his family and created all kinds of junk for them. And so to me, when we talk about those three sources from God, from the devil, from the flesh, I then can have grace on the person who is hostile towards the gospel because it's not just you're just hostile because you're naturally a sinner. Yeah. You're hostile and you got this monkey on your back from this this shame attached yeah. to what happened to your family yeah. in this thing. And so I heard that somebody sent that to me and I was like, man, that's really interesting. I remember him talking about that on 444. No one's really discussed this, but within the Christian rap community, we've always kind of dogged jay-z and kind of been mad at him without really understanding the full scope yeah. and so here's somebody historically pushing back pushing back pushing back and we don't really know that the source of that isn't the illuminati and demons is actually trauma yeah you know what i mean and and, and i don't know if i've ever told you this the story of when i met jay-z uh at, good, at a good music showcase at south by southwest no you didn't um, i met him briefly and uh and he was on tour with Bono and you too, you know, mm -hmm. you know Bono has like a faith background, yeah. and he was on tour, and there was multiple. You, you guys can Google there's multiple things of him wearing a, a shirt that says Jesus is Lord. Fam, like, what's up with the Jesus is Lord? Shirt? Had a yeah, Jesus is yeah, Lord multiple shirt. pictures. I literally said, "Are you trying to make a theological statement to him?" And he just kind of looked at me, smiled, and was like, "Like, who is this little yeah. peon asking me this question?" Uh, and he told me, I "Go ask Alexander Gavinci." <laughs> that was he saying to me. And so, uh, and I'm praying for Jay Z, and 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 I and I have a feeling if when and if I bump into him, I think he he'll, he'll remember that, and we'll have a conversation about it. But I say all that to say, I think people are so much more complicated than of the devil or of God. Yeah, I think the devil can take advantage of situations and create generational bondage on people that then makes them even more blinded and biased against surrendering their life to Jesus. Yeah, bro, who has more of an understanding or knowledge of craftiness and wickedness than the Lord? Mm -hmm. He, you know, he's he's created, he's observing it all, right? And he, if you believe that the scriptures are divinely inspired, it says that Satan's crafty. This is this is the the goat, God, mm -hmm. saying he's crafty. I think that's a crafty that we can't even fully comprehend. Mm. That is the top tier crafty, mm -hmm. and it it's that crafty planting a, a, a seed that young, knowing that. Someone observing this man who's supposed to be a man of God, who's doing X, Y, Z, and that affects a, a generation. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he's not the only one that has that scar. Mm -hmm. It's his aunt. Mm -hmm. It's his mom. Yep. It's it's a whole bunch of people. His mom is 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 you know is gay, and you know she was once. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yo, you don't know what the heck. How many people? And from ge for generations to come will be scarred and affected by that one man's actions mm -hmm. that to set a scheme up and mm. not making Satan more powerful than God no way no mm -hmm. how 
But to set that type of scheme in motion, to mm -hmm. see them, get that those dominoes lined up and get them to start falling, yeah. man, that's a crafty that our little stupid human minds yeah. can't understand. Like, yeah, whether it's Jay-Z, whether it's Kanye, whether it's that person in your family that's not a Christian, whether it's that person that you're gonna see over the holidays that you know is gonna say something to, com yeah. to be combative and slow, yeah. slick shot against your faith. What kind of heart do we have for those people? What kind of uh, patience can we extend to those people? How do we how do we walk that line? Of, I got to be firm and tell you the truth. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have drank like that on Drink Champs, man. That was yeah. just not a good look. And while at the same time saying, guys, like, let's keep praying for people. And and I believe God can save a Jay Z. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and and miraculously move. Not because we need another rapper evangelist. Yeah. Just because I think. God is that good and that big to do something like that. He cares for the state of his soul. I I, I would say so. Uh, being involved in the music industry and just with some things I've seen, leading somebody from the occult to the Lord, reading their literature, right? There, there is a real. Uh, uh, there's something going on in the in the music industry, not like how y'all check in the YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of stuff that they'll say, and I'm just like, oh, this is bull. And then some of it is like, okay, yeah, this is this is for real. Mm -hmm. um, I would still say Satan does not have the type of power to keep someone in bondage like that. I would still say whether they're in the occult, whether they're somebody that's just hurt and, and, and you know, walking away from the Lord or, or purposely hostile to the gospel because of their pain, no matter where they are, pray for them. Mm. Pray for them because God is that mighty to save. I've seen Satanists give their lives to the Lord. Amen. I led one to the Lord, not boasting on I, you know, the Lord by his grace used me to lead a Satanist. A mm. Luciferian, not a Satanist where, you know, they're 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 just claiming that yeah, they're to trolling. Be, yeah, they're yeah. trolling. Yeah. I'm talking about, about someone who literally thinks Lucifer's the good guy mm. and they serve Lucifer. So, um and have altars and, yeah. and services and all that stuff. So Everyone, man, pray for everyone. Yeah. If I pray for Jay, I pray for everybody. Bro. Yeah. Thank you for watching this again. Mastermydevo.com. Get more clarity, context, and consistency in your devotional time, ultimately for life change. And we have our three-day master YouTube live challenge coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Peace.